kept on going there for a second. Is it just me or is it you feel like the boat is moving? <laughs> Hi everybody, who is still a little damp from yesterday? <laughs> I the only shoes I have that are dry are these dress shoes. And my flip-flops. Uh, I the the only other pair of pants I brought is these. <laughs> Because I did not bring my tough pants, which is why I'm not wearing tough pants. I apologize for everything. This is how I'm going to open every show from now on, by apologizing for all of the various mistakes I've made and all the shortcomings that I have. So I am very sorry. We forgive you! Is this something a therapist suggested? Yeah. No, no, this is my idea. We're going to have to talk apologize. This is, this is my idea. Big stage conf confessional, welcome. <laughs> this weird Jungian thing happening. I feel like the half of me is fancy and the half is a mess. <laughs> you know, manifest it physically and get it out. Um, so, a couple of housekeeping items. Number one, Yes, all of the members of They Might Be Giants who had to get off the ship did so in time. Four minutes to spare. I know, they could have done fingertips, yes. Yeah. Twice. <laughs> Second of all, I thank you all very, very, very much for your concern. When I said I'm about to have a heart attack, it was a metaphorical heart attack. Paul's having a heart attack. Thanks to your fingertips. Um, if he really was having a heart attack, we probably would have taken him off the uh, announcement to <laughs> From my cold, dead hand. This is Principal Saborin from the grave. <laughs> that is how I'm going to go. It's hunched over a microphone. <laughs> That's right. In the bowels of the ship. <laughs> I, well, I mean, it's, it's, it was fine. But like so many of you over the last day, I would pass by and with like seemingly real genuine just like, are you okay? Are you better now today? You're so confused because everyone kept passing you nitroglycerin. <laughs> and I realized like I am of an age and a girth at this point. It's a genuine concern. I get that. Yeah. I'm at a certain girth. <laughs> so uh, it is time. Once again, for morning announcements. Good morning, students. Uh, today's theme is formal night. Many of you and your varying degrees of finery or lack thereof, you all look lovely. You look lovely too. Thank you. Thank you. I'm in my, in my mind, it's, my daughter was worried it was too wintry, but I dig it. I dig that. It's good. It's good. It's Caribbean winter look. Caribbean. Caribbean winter. Caribbean winter. Just wear some felt. Yeah. Uh, let's see. As much as it pains me to do so, I must make you think briefly about the nearing end of the voyage. No! It's still far away. No, no, no. It's still far, far away. But I need this stuff to not take you utterly by surprise. Moo, yes, I know. I know you said boo, but I'm turning it into a boo. No, 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 no. Genuinely Jersey cows. No. Uh, the uh, arcade in Billboard on Board will be open until 3 p.m. tomorrow, so you've got until then to set your high scores. Does, uh, will we hold the record on Mr. Dew? On this boat? Do you have a high Oh, I thought that was a metaphor of some sort. <laughs> What would that be a metaphor? I have no idea. That's why I was so confused. <laughs> no, I know he was concerned that he did not have the high score. The, well, the existing high score was was not as high as his high score ever, but well, he did not. He's got 20 hours. Right. Well, no, well, no, if not, he's going to get word. I mean, he's going to be parked to that machine. Yeah. <laughs> um, both the console gaming area and the crafting room will be packing up at 4 o'clock. The game library, this is a change from what's been in your schedule uh, most of the week. The game library will be open until 3.30 p.m. We do request that all games be returned to the game library at or preferably before 3.30 tomorrow. Your um, uh, luggage, those of you who are electing to have the ship 
take your luggage off of the ship and to meet it down uh, back at the down to cruise port. Uh, your luggage must be packed and outside your rooms tomorrow night by 12 midnight. Uh, that said, you do not have to have the trip, the the ship take your luggage. Uh, you'll be getting instructions if you haven't already with. Uh, different group numbers for disembarkation. Those are to help time out for the people who are having their luggage taken off to make sure that their luggage is out there by the time you are down there, because it's not like you just toss 1,500 pieces of luggage over the side and hope it gets into the cruise port. Um, but that would be pretty cool to watch. They could, really. technically. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they could. It would be inadvisable. So do not trifle with them. But that said, if you are carrying all of your own luggage off with you, you do not have to necessarily abide by the time in your uh, group. You can get off the ship. I had to phrase that right. <laughs> you can disembark whenever you like once disembarkation starts. We arrive at 7 a.m. on Saturday morning. It usually takes customs until about 8 or 8.15, maybe a little earlier, maybe a little later, before they officially clear the ship and we can start disembarking, uh, just pay attention to the announcements that morning. Uh, if you are new to Joko Cruise and are worried, uh, well, A, make sure that you leave yourself plenty of time to get to the airport or wherever you are going, and there are plenty of cabs, and you can order ride shares if you like. You just sort of follow the signs and the, and the, uh, the human traffic out towards that area. It's very obvious where the taxis and such Human, human traffic? I'm really betting a thousand people the red team tonight. Yeah. I heard there's a group that's going to attempt to assemble a trebuchet right outside of the terminal to get everybody to the airport. Yeah, that's just not that far. That's the, that's the Wiley Coyote travel plan. Um, uh, that said, uh, the other thing is, uh, the, we do encourage you, if you are willing and able to take all of your, your luggage off the ship, not only does it free, up, free you up for whatever time you like to get off the ship, uh, the more of you do that, the more of the ship's crew will be available to help us get our 970 pallets of stuff back off the ship. So please don't make Drew cry and, and take your luggage off yourself if you can. Uh, reminder, your gratuities are built in already to your cruise fare. Uh, there is automatic gratuities built into that for your room stewards, the maitre d's, and your servers in the main dining room. That said, if you feel you have received particularly excellent service and wish to reward someone, that is entirely your choice, uh, and you may do so, either hand it to them directly, or if it's someone, say, in the main dining room, you can go to the ship's uh, guest services deck, and they can get you an envelope, and you can get their name on it, and they can make sure it gets to the person that you would like to get it to. A couple of announcements from Cruise Mom Tara. Uh, any, yay for Tara. <laughs> Damn right, uh, any uh, items that you lose on the ship, all lost and found items, will be taken to the uh, the ship's guest services desk on uh, deck one in the atrium, not the Joko Cruise uh, help desk. So if you've lost something, don't bother going to our help desk or the ship's help desk. Unless you really like being stared at blankly, which is you know fine. We're not here to sh we're not here to yuck anyone's yum. Uh, we also, at the Joko Cruise Help Desk, they have some, we have crew comment cards. If you have something particularly nice to say to or about a ship's staff member, we do have these comment cards. You can fill them out and drop them off. Uh, that's absolutely encouraged. Uh, we'll make sure it will get to the right people. Finally, uh, I hate to say this on a, on a slight bummer of a note, there is reports of an increasing number of missing magnets going, magnets going missing off people's doors. I know, right? The, uh, oh, oh what were you going to say? Shame on you. <laughs> the, uh, the code of conduct, well, one of the first elements is be excellent to each other. So there will be a 12 hour magnet amnesty. Uh, please make sure those uh, find a, a happy home. Finally, once again, as a reminder, onboard booking for Joko Cruise 2020 continues. Uh, in addition to the usual uh, method of signing up at the Joko Cruise Info Desk, tomorrow's last chance merchandise sale, which is happening up on the Lido Pool area from, I believe, noon till four tomorrow, where the merchandise for every performer and guest who has brought merchandise will be for sale up there. Uh, and a bunch of people will be signing between two and roughly 3.30. Uh, we will also have consultants on site 
to help you through the onboard booking process if you're interested for 2020. Uh, we've, we did learn from Drew in the first show, a, a couple of categories have already sold out from the, the ones available. It was uh, HH and... Yeah, there was a couple of the outside categories, maybe one of the balcony categories. I think so. So uh, again, if you're considering it, don't dawdle. Uh, how many of you, once again, are already booked on 2020? <laughs> you people will be excited to know. Uh, the big announcement, I'm just going to go ahead and make it. The land concert for 2020 is being held inside of an active volcano. <laughs> this is in rain will not be a problem. Yeah. You're welcome. The, uh, the almanac says there's only like a 15% chance of eruption on that day. I think we're pretty safe. They might be molten. <laughs> You know, there was a fire fest. Yesterday was obviously water fest, so we're going with earth fest. <laughs> I have no idea what wind fest is. I don't care to guess. <laughs> and that concludes our morning announcements here at Navigate Ball.